At 85 years of age, one of the initiators of the neocatechumenal way, Carmen Hernandez, died in Madrid. She was one of the main supporters of the itinerary of Catholic formation, which was offered in parishes around the world. In Rome, her meetings with each pope have left a profound impact. Pope Francis met with her for the last time in March, when he blessed hundreds of neocatechumenal families who were sent on mission to countries where Catholics are a minority. Io rimango qui, ma col cuore vado con voi. Grazie. Pope Francis also spoke to Hernandez by phone for the last time on July 1st. Her most remembered meeting was with Benedict XVI when they celebrated the 40th anniversary of the neocatechumenal way. Carmen Hernandez was a brave, direct woman. She always spoke bluntly. El camino neocatecumenal es una iniciación cristiana que no es ni es un movimentito ni ninguna asociación. Es la quiesa. Es el batésimo, es algo muy importante que depende todo del Ebescovi, Padre, y del Santo Padre. Yo con Cuelo estoy tranquila de soportar a Kiko Arguello, qué fantástico artista. She spoke without fear and was very determined. Her strong character caused her to joke with Kiko Arguello in public when he tried to end a speech that had continued too long. Her reaction caused the Pope to smile. Ante las dificultades que tiene la Iglesia en el mundo entero, con tantísimos Satanás que se levantan, y tanto euro, euro y tanto dólar, y tanto capital, la, no podrán contra la Iglesia, Padre. Y es, <coughs> espera, ya vale, no me da la gana. The neocatechumenal way was born in the slums of Madrid in the late 60s, but now more than a million people follow their proposal. It also has more than 100 missionary diocesan seminaries worldwide.